Well, good day, YouTubers. Uh, been back. It's been a while. We're back on the uh, JD450 dozer, and uh, we're uh, we're well into the rebuild. Uh, we'll have a reveal shortly here in about a week. Um, show you everything we've done with this. Right now, we're uh, like we said before the uh, the end of carriage is about forty percent. It's been patched here and there. Uh, you know, it's got a good front idler. Uh, the top roller here. Uh, got the cap off of it. Three bolts, that comes off. Uh, Ford's got, or uh, John Deere's got those stupid uh, JD Zerks that uh, nobody has the fitting for. It, uh, yeah, we got one down there. No, I've replaced... Right, you wonder why these things wear out. It's because uh, JD had these stupid uh, flat bottom zerks that uh, nobody's got a fitting for. So you, you go to grease the damn thing and you can't get the gun on it because it's got this little proprietary uh, zerk. So, you know, we just pulled it out. So we changed them all over. The bearings are actually in pretty good shape. There's no play on it well greased but we do have wear the uh, center parts good but we've got some wear and we're down on here and then on the inside as you can see we've got uh, we've got some big wear here but we're gonna do a bush fix okay so uh, went over to Alder Steel Fern and the boys, Nico, uh, great guys. Um, we're going to do a quick bush fix. We're going to put a whole new undercarriage in here. Uh, it needs it. Get it all uh, new chain and everything. But for now, we went down to uh, Alder Steel. And uh, they got pipe that'll fit just about everything. So we sliced off an inch and a half. We did our measurement first. And... What we're going to do, put that on, clean that all up, weld it, both sides. The inside's worn a little more than the outside, but we can shim that out. We've got pieces for both. And we'll just throw a fucking weld on her. And that'll bring it out. That'll get a couple jobs done that are just screaming to get done. So, uh, yeah, bush fix. Put a nice inside weld got to take the bearing out because it's going to get hot so uh, keep the bearing in good shape because you know she's rolling true no, nothing's grinding so we'll get that all fixed up and uh yeah we got all the hoses in and uh yeah we'll uh, we'll show you what we've been up to uh we're about to reveal what i consider and i've looked at thousand thousand different bulldozers primarily d6 is what i used to operate my dad had a john deere 1010 and uh my old lacrosse coach he had the case he was the one that introduced me to the case brand and you know and he'd let me watch him service it and the simplicity in the case is just like i say head and shoulders over the john deere these are just monkey ass ass backwards designed stupid stupid idiotic machines the way they were designed but we've uh, we fixed huge amounts of that and uh we're gonna get this all fixed up get these center uh, top rollers up and fixed and it'll do all right we we'll just watch it wear and then uh then we can replace the entire undercarriage all at once so it's all new or we can, uh, I'm actually shopping around a couple of the places down south in the States, uh, uh, equipment rentals. Hey, if we can get a good, uh, a good used set, I mean, new sets, uh, best price I've gotten so far is just under five grand. Uh, f I think you quoted 4,300 about, uh, six months ago. And, uh, with the price of everything, I mean, diesels, diesels. Now I just went through town here in Vancouver 10 bucks a gallon, 250 a liter, four liters to the gallon, $10 a gallon. I mean, we're going down, people. 
Uh, you're about to pay for your COVID holiday. Um, so anyway, we're going to get this welded up, get our stuff uh, all fixed, and then we're going to show you what is undoubtedly the world's coolest uh, John Deere 450. Um, so stay tuned and uh, we'll be back, uh, I'd say, in about a week. And we'll do the big reveal and I'll show you a dozer like uh, nobody's ever seen before. Okay, people, have a good one. Uh, this is uh, June 22, uh, rainiest month I've ever experienced in my life. Uh, so um, uh, look up harp, high altitude acoustic resonance. Uh, because I've never seen so much rain in all my life. We're uh, sitting on 11 months of rain. Uh, right after, uh, right after two years of, um, uh, craziness and, uh, just, uh, look up harp and, uh, might answer why it's raining so much right across North America. Anyway, have a good one people. And we'll talk to you soon. Ciao for now. Dozing for dummies.